Panning is the method in production where you can set the position of sounds in your mix. In this video, we'll take a look at the two different methods of panning available in live. Panning is defined as adjusting the position of sound in the stereo field. The simple way to think about this is how much of the sound is heard on the left or right of a pair of speakers set up in a conventional way, like a home system or studio listening environment. Panning in live has two modes, balance and true stereo panning. The first mode is set as default in the mixer section. When turning the dial to the left or to the right, it creates changes in volume between the left and right output channels. Here I have a drum loop playing and the panning dial is set to center. The more I turn the dial to the left, the more audible the drums are in the left speaker and less audible in the right speaker. When the drums are fully panned to the left, they are only audible in the left speaker. Now I'm going to pan the drums from the left speaker over to the right speaker. When the drums are fully panned to the right, they are only audible in the right speaker. The other mode of panning is true stereo panning. And this can be achieved when you right click on the panning dial of a track in the mixer section. Now you can move a sound relative to their position in the stereo field of the left and right speakers. In track two, I have a drum loop and a synth playing at the same time. And I've matched the controls of my MIDI keyboard to the panning settings. I've soloed my synth so you can only hear it on the left. If I solo the drums, you can only hear them on the right. Now I will move the drums to the centre. If I bring back in the synth and turn the dial on my MIDI keyboard, you can hear that the synth moves from left to right in the stereo field without the drums moving from the centre of the stereo field.